You guys probably won all the raffle. You weren't here. Oh, we had mercy this time. <laughs> it was not fun. No, no, no. This John Barbara, the, the lost photo. The lost photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been really great getting to know these guys. And uh, John's from Nevada City. He kind of we quite tried to put this team together, and uh, he kind of qualified because he came down here and he won. Our second slam here in Chico. So, and uh, this is John Barbado, and he's wonderful because his roots are kind of in the the blues tradition. So. And sorry, I got here at seven thirty. I didn't read the poster. I thought I was waiting. Oh, seven thirty. I better go over there. It's you and me, baby, a team forever, menstruating and ejaculating our way through eternity, running down that old footpath, mark time and space, popping out souls like fleas on a dog. A bucket brigade of fornicating firefighters raising enough steam to start a railroad. You, dressed in some brocaded gigaw. Me, wearing construction boss calluses like the star of a cigarette advertisement, crushing beer steins in my Anglo-Saxon forepaws, saving the mushy parts for last. Me, slamming the door shut after work, chasing your fluttering eyelids around the room like our mothers taught us when we were little kids, drawing pictures of jet planes and... Scribbling them out in no pain flame blotches and letting the stick pilots bail out and float down to the stick villages and be assimilated into the factories and come out on weekends just like born Christians driving their new ramblers and planets. Mm. Us getting older all the time, storing up sperm and eggs in our Cheerio boxes, <laughs> assuming erotic stances on a starting block, and then BAM! Hair growing in all the right places, feet and asses pumping for dear life, crowds of spent voyeurs cheering us on as nurses and sterile face masks catch the new babes as fast as they can. Us, finally, dead tired, looking for the ending string, stopping to catch our breath, being overtaken by kindly attendants and led off to the sidelines, giving hot chocolate and brandy, and jumping up and dashing off again, a caduceus of testicles and ovaries disappearing out into the effervescent sunset. Thank you. Wow. 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 <laughs> this is one for Ralph Shine. He was a, a blues man who lived in Chico. He died in 1985 when he was 33. It's called Get Well Blues. We're lucky down here on the mud ball. We have musicians to keep the beat. Because... Music counterbalances all the dirty deals and the long nights staring out of empty window panes. We're lucky down here on the mud ball because music can take all the cold pain and broke down hunger, all the tears and broke down love, and squeeze it up and twist it out and warble it into the reeds of a moaning blues harp. Music can cleanse and heal us, can touch our souls with a positive energy. Music is the ancient medicine because first there was the word and the word was sound, and the sound was love, and the universe picked up the riff and scattered along behind, singing, Go, baby, through the shivering trees. Blow. And we're all lucky when the heart man takes center stage, because then we dance in the light of his singing song. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, have any of you heard of the Book of the Five Rings? Yeah. Okay. This is uh, dedicated to probably the most fascinating samurai warrior to ever live. And my heritage comes from that. So, uh, yeah. This one's called The Five Scrolls. A dirt pebble rolled and kicked by a silver spotted horse leg. Musashi, secure and sharp steel, multiple folds of red battle elegance, honored with royal purple origami flesh, wounded from past battles that put to rest dishonor in the many heartless heads. At age thirty, he had defeated many who had challenged him of his way. Brutal to a modern world, respectable to a dying. The greatest samurai warrior ever, undefeated. 
lived for the ultimate respect of the sword. The symbol of honor that sliced itself and then cut into carved silver blood. And the ink, it flowed a reflection of the battle. And the ironclad sword, it found the hidden truth that it cut into while all searching for that universal feeling lingering in nature's womb. He was dedicated to everything.